welcome to another episode of Today I Work On, and today we're going to install a ventilation fan. Now this is in an old work situation, not a new work situation. The difference between old work and new work is very simple. New work is when you have all the walls and ceilings open and you could get to the rafters and move stuff around. In this situation we have drywall existing and we need to do an old work exhaust fan. So this one is the Whisper Fit EZ by Panasonic and this is the model number right here and this is what I'm going to install today. So uh, let me get into it and before I get into it, if uh, you can, if you like my videos, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it and if you like this video, please like it. Uh, just click that button and that would make me super happy to let me know that people are enjoying my videos. So on that note, let me get working on this. Well, welcome to the exhaust fan. Now, remember, an exhaust fan, it doesn't take care of poop. <laughs> it takes care of when you take a shower. So that's the plan. I'm going to pop this new fan in. I'm going to take this one out, and I will get into how I take it out. Most likely, these old fans are connected against a rafter. So I'm going to find a rafter which is right. All right, so it's on this side. So the rafter's right, the rafter's here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I split the difference. I'm gonna split the difference like so. So if you look and I go this way, they're the same size. I'm gonna split the difference, and the reason why I split the difference is so I can get access to unscrew this old exhaust fan. So I'm gonna square this out. And then I'm going to use a drywall saw to cut this out. So I'm going to cut this out right now. That is done. Welcome to an exhaust fan that has more access. So look, right over here we have, now it's only a three inch duct, which is fine. It'd be better if it was four, but such is life. Electric is on this side. Now, but I have, the reason why they make the Panasonic fan a little bit bigger is you have access to remove all this old exhaust fan. So that is done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug this and then I'm going to take off, you just have to pry it. There's a little, let me see it right there. It's like a little finger that sits in the metal. I'm gonna push that back and then pull it down. So let me take this apart and then I'll get into taking everything else apart because what happens is you see right here I just have to unscrew these so all I need to do now is unscrew this exhaust fan from the rafter and it'll come down and then I could disconnect everything so let me uh, get working on that look what I found I found a nasty old exhaust fan now I have full access to everything now we're good so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to disconnect the electric and disconnect this three inch hose. Basically, I'm just gonna cut, I have plenty of hose to work with, so I'm just gonna cut it right there. And then the electric, make sure obviously the power is off. And you can see right here what I was talking about, that little, that little finger that holds the actual fan into the metal. So I'm just gonna push it up, bend that out, and then it just comes out like so. So that's garbage. And then this little piece comes out. And then I'm just gonna undo this electric. It's a very, this is the easiest way to do these exhaust fans. Hands down. Uh, I don't even read the, I don't know what the directions say. I'm sure it's something similar, but I remember the last time I read the directions, they were super confusing. So visual is definitely way better off. So, and then, I don't know snips, but what I do is I just break this right here. Uh, these uh, old school plastic, they're like really weird. These up, uh, and then it just it should come right out. Ta-da, done. The next step is installing this bracket. Now the bracket goes like this, it turns. 
and it says, it specifically says up on it. So you want to make sure it's up. So up and like this. I'm going to slide this in now. You don't have to screw. You can only screw one side. One side is fine. I'm going to screw this side in. On this other side, it's going to be sitting on the drywall. So it's like a, it's like an old work box clip basically. Once the two screws are in and then I put in, you'll see, I put in the exhaust fan. It, it doesn't go anywhere. So let me start working on that. All right, now I'm going to stick this. I'm going to stick it in the hole, baby. Because that's what she said. All right. Uh, Uh, most likely you're gonna have insulation in the way. So that kind of stinks. I just want to get it in there initially. Alright, now it's in. Now I'm gonna make a flat so I can extend it out. Alright. I extend it out as far as I could go. It's not the whole way, but like I said again, I'm going what I'm gonna do is I'm going to screw it in on this side. Because I have nothing, the drywall is not holding it here. So, one. Two. So that's basically taken care of. I have the bracket is now, the bracket is now secured. It's hanging on the drywall, so let me now get the actual fan out. Well, welcome to the Panasonic exhaust fan, and this piece, you see this piece of metal? It just pops off. So I'm going to slide that off, and then I'm going to put it up on top of the bracket. You'll see in a sec. The first thing you need to do is unscrew that screw, so I'm going to work on that. All right, well, I unscrewed this little hole. I wish I had my first-person head thing on, but... Now, this basically just slides off like so. You actually have to unclip this. Now remember, it's just one little clip. It's actually right there. You just push that down and it comes right off. So, now it should come right off. There you go. Now that's gonna go up there. Get out of my way. All right, now. Metal box. That has to come off. I'm gonna take that off. So there's a lot of little steps on these exhaust fans. I don't know if you can see it. Another screw off. This comes off like so. It, it's actually, uh, there's this little nubby thing right there. That's what's holding it in place. So you pull it off from the top like this. That's off. Now, I'm gonna hook up this wire into this box. So let me go get a uh, Romex connector. I'll be right back. All right, got my wire connectors. I got my Romex connector, I got my wire nuts. And now I have to figure out which knockout I wanna knock out. So I'm gonna knock out, I'm gonna knock out the one on the side. So that's gonna be right here. So it's where the clips are. So let me knock this out. Oh, it only needs a flathead screwdriver and just do a wiggle. Wiggle. And then you will uh, hook up your connector. I actually put the connector on the, uh, the electric first. Take off the actual nut. And then I go like so. Now remember, if you're doing this and you're a DIY person, as long as that switch is off, you have no power. If someone turns the switch on, you will get electrocuted. You'll get, you won't get, you'll get zapped. You won't get electrocuted. Uh, don't worry about that. All right, so that's on. Now, I'm gonna hook this up onto here. And I'm gonna put the, the nut connector, the Romex connector nut on like so. Now that's done. Now, I'm gonna hook up this electric. I'm, I'm not gonna go over that too much because 
All I need to tell you is, once I connect the wire nut, white on white, black on black, ground on ground, it has to be strong enough where this one wire could hold that, this whole piece. That's when you know you have a good connection. And you have to let them twist a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. I let them twist a little bit. There you go. Now, see? That's when you know you have a good connection. Now I'm going to stuff all this in here. Like so. Alright, that's done. Now, little screw. Put it back on. See right there? And that, the electrical part is now done. Next up. We have your exhaust. Now the first thing you need to do is make sure you pull out off the 4 inch to 3 inch connector and take off the damper. Because <laughs> if you don't do that, guess what? You're going to have a problem. And we don't want problems, right? Alright, so that's done. Now what I usually do is, I use metal tape. It's like the HVAC tape. Duct tape, no good. Duct tape does not stick well. This metal tape comes from God himself. It's so sticky and so strong. It's the only tape I use on any connection. I don't care if it's a simple exhaust vent connection in a, sh in a bathroom. I just like using it because it sticks so well. It's just unbelievable. So. Well, that's done. Now. That's the 4 inch to 3 inch. Now you might have a 4 inch connection, but a lot of the older homes, they're very light on CFM. So I can only use 80 CFM. There's two options on this. There's this, I think there's a, uh, an 80 CFM and a 110. A 110 would be more, I would like a 110 in here, but I'm not replacing this whole hose. It, it's just too much money, not happening. So we're going to stick with the 3 inch and go with the 80 CFM. Uh, it's way better than that old fan. That old fan was probably putting out no, it was probably pulling out zero moisture in this bathroom. So that's the next step now. I'm going to hook up the three inch. Now what I usually do is I, I have a piece of tape ready, like so. It's not a full piece. It's just, just enough so I can get the new, and I just go like this, put it on the top of my lip. Mm-hmm. And then I go like this. And that's how I do it. So if you don't have a helper hanging out staring at you doing nothing. That's what I do. Alright, so now that is basically done. I'll put another piece on. I like to wrap it a full piece. So like a nice full piece. And now I know this is never going to go anywhere 30 years from now when someone replaces this fan because there will be no need to. They'll probably just die of old age. They'll be impressed by my wrap. So that is, that is done. Now this is, all the hard work is done. Now I'm just going to squeeze all of this in here like so. Give a little bit of room and push. That's plenty of room. Lastly, we're going to put up the actual fan. Now, the actual fan comes with these screws. All right, so you have four screws and they're self tapping. Okay? You're going to take your new fancy Panasonic fan and you're just going to tuck this baby in here. Now you see it is, it's looking really good. So I'm going to get my screw gun and I'm going to get the first screw going. Voila. Done. Dude, see how tight that gets? It gets insanely tight. One. Two. 
So unfortunately, I couldn't use this little screw, so I went to my backup route. I just used the self-tapping screw and I went through the two pieces of metal to hold everything in. So, because it went through the both pieces of metal, the metal flange, and then it went into the, the self-tapping rail, right? So it's solid. It's, I mean, it's, I could hang off of this thing. Now, the last part you need to do is put on the, well, actually, you have to hook this back in, and then let's see if it works. Oh, look at that. We got fan. So that is how you install a Panasonic fan. Again, the model number is the, if you want to see it, it is the FV8, FV-0811V F5. This is the fan to buy. If you buy new work fans, you're, you're in trouble. Not easy install. You're going to be cursing yourself and wishing why you even started this project. So that is how you install this Panasonic fan. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it. If you like all my videos, because who wouldn't like my videos, please subscribe. And usually, I should say this earlier on, but please subscribe to my videos. I'm getting a ton of watch hours, but I'm not asking for people to, to subscribe, and I would appreciate it if you did, because I'll put out more pretty interesting content that I think is helping the world make their life easier. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.